All right, so here's where we're at. There is a lot to do on this. Uh, <laughs> it's a little bit worse than what I thought as far as, like, I got to... I got to redo a lot of, I got to figure this out too. Like, I don't know if that's supposed to go over top. I don't, I don't know, man. Like I, I would think there needs to be a, a gap there. That's not supposed to be like that. I mean, this body's all twisted up, obviously. I mean, I got to build a frame to sit on top of the frame. And I don't have the frame here yet, but uh, I mean, as you can see, this is all the stuff. Like, there's still the old wood in there. I mean, this stuff's just hanging on by, you know, threads. I got to cut all this out. Taking my measurements right now. Um, and I, I mean, I guess where I'm going to start is I have to I have to take these wood all the these wooden strips let me get uh let me get close in here all right so in the pillars i gotta i gotta take out all the wood and i'm gonna reinforce that with steel some square tubing and i gotta i gotta do you know along the floor i gotta do the whole way down same with this side the whole way down and then my brace is going across that one's rotted this one actually doesn't look too bad, but I, I got to I'm going to get rid of all that. That's wood there. These are pieces of wood that all needs cut out. And I need to go down to the store and get some metal. And I got to make sure that this is all straight and square, which isn't going to be fun or easy without the frame. Uh, I thought about putting it up on some saw horses but my saw horses aren't exactly <laughs> level either uh, i mean i can level it up i could i could put it on jack stands i mean i got some jack stands going on but i think i have six of them in here all together but uh this is just the first walk around like i never really looked into it too much as far as the body goes you know like it has its you know issues the more I look at it, like I really didn't take the time to even look at this yet, like because there's just so much going on. But this week, I get a week off work. I don't know about a full week, but I'm going to have some time off work because my wife and my daughter have COVID and the boss doesn't want me going in there with COVID. So I don't want to be in my house around everybody. So... This is my opportunity to get some stuff done and stay away. It's a good excuse to be out in the garage. But, you know, I'm losing another week's worth of pay. But luckily, I have money saved because for these reasons, I'm not an idiot. The gas tank's still in there, which I thought was cool. And, um, yeah, like, I got to I gotta reinforce. Like, I got to do a lot, like... Like this strip here that's running along there. This all needs to be squared up, man. I'm going to weld that together. I'm going to be doing a lot of welding and stitching. I might just do like stitch welding and leave it kind of like... I want it to stay rough, dude. I love the, the color of this. Uh, I'm going to wipe it down. I can't wait to wipe it down. Like the, You can't really tell on film, but it's like a greenish. Like there you can kind of see it. I don't know what it's going to look like on TV or on your phone, but it's like army green mixed with rust. And it's just like a really cool color. And then you got a lot of, you got still got some primer hanging on there or whatever color that was. But this just looks great. Uh, so yeah, I, I'm not going to walk around and talk for an hour. I'm just going to get to this. I'm going to run to the store, grab some metal, and then I'm just going to, I'm just going to go, man. I'm going to start cutting shit. I don't really know what I'm doing, but it's just a big go-kart, kind of like the last one I built. I just saw this big area of mess here. You see? Yeah, like that's, that's not good. 
but I want to leave it. I, I don't, I don't want to have a beautiful body. I knew they always rot out back there. Um, I don't know. I might fix some of that up eventually, but it's not too, it's not the end of the world yet. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna have to cut all this stuff out. I have my work set. All right. See you in a minute. happening uh, some of this is actually good and it's funny because I always forget forgot from the last time I was cutting through you know Henry still Henry Henry Ford still how uh, strong it is man it's different it was different back then than still is today the steel that was made back then pre World War II was extremely strong because everything was better and stronger back then. So here's the plan. I'm going to make a, that all back there is staying there. It's like, has some surface rust, it's fine. I'm gonna make a frame that goes from this corner across and it's gonna run down. This is obviously rotted, that's separated and so is that. So. I'm gonna build basically a, I'm gonna start with a rectangle that's gonna go there and I'll tie it into the body. And then after that's done, I'm going to just continue. I'm gonna like kind of build it as I go. Uh, this kind of needs, well, so this, the rectangle is gonna, it's not gonna just be a rectangle. There's gonna be full rails going from this corner the whole way down to the a pillar and then there's going to be it's it's going to go across uh i can't even see i can't even tell what i'm looking at yeah so it's it's going to go across and then bam probably do like use one inch like one inch one inch and then two inch going across there probably two inch two inch going across there two inch in the back then one inch one inch and probably a one inch going the whole way down the center because the transmission isn't going to be a problem in the drive line but i'll do that last anyway just in case but I'm not going any further back which saves me a little bit of time i vacuumed all this out and i vacuumed all this off uh I'm gonna wipe it down with like oil at some point because I wanna see it shine and I wanna bring out these colors. Maybe get some patina sauce. I gotta wipe all this crap off. <laughs> but, all right, so that's where we're at. I'm gonna keep rolling. Yeah, just throwing this out there that uh, these one by twos, two one by twos by eight footers and two one by one by eight footers were $200. It's awesome. And that's just to brace the floor. I'm going to have a ton of money in this, but it's fun, I guess.
So here's what we have. That's weird, like, on camera, it looks like a perfect square. It's not at all. It's like four inches shorter on this end than it is up there because it's the shape of yeah, in there, even though that looks kind of square, but it's not. It's like shaped like a coffin almost. All right, my phone died, so I put it in on the charger and I welded this up, like welded both sides and grinded everything and all that fun stuff while my phone was charging. You guys have seen me weld five million times. It's not that fun, but you know, you get it, you weld all the, I don't need to explain myself. All right, so I'm gonna try to fit this in. Either way, now I just need to do the pillar here. So I'm going to measure that. four and three quarter three four and three quarter and then we're gonna tie it in to this somehow it'll all be tied in man I'm gonna weld the shit out of everything in here uh, I'm gonna run braces along the top tie this all together all this wood's going to come up this is going to be such a headache man and uh i'm at the very beginning stages i just need to keep going because this is definitely the annoying part that no one feels like doing uh, i have to cut all this crap out of here it's all separated down the side it's hanging on by a thread but then you know the back solid and the front solid up here this is solid from here forward so we're going to tie it all in and, um, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Just, just keep going. 
what was that measurement again? 34 and a half, or 34 and three quarters. 34 and three quarters. All right, so see how this is going to work? I'm going to take, well, you can't see what I'm doing right now, obviously, but I'm tearing the wood out of the pillar because I'm going to see if this side comes out as easy. Nope, of course not. But this is going to go right here. It's going to tie right into it's going to tie right into this this is going to be a one by one piece of square tubing that's going to go up to here well really it should go the whole way up but i think i'm only going to go up to here for now on both sides and then i'll tie it into the body and then I'm going to mess with the roof later, but because uh, this goes inward, it kind of goes up and then back, then up again. It's not going to go straight up or else I would. And I want this to come right out to the edge like it is. The body is a little wonky, so it'll come together. I'll weld it all in, and then uh, I'll, weld it. I'll bead this the whole way up, and it'll be solid. This body is going to be solid, and that'll tie it into the floor. It'll tie this all together and the body will be solid again and it'll be ready to set down onto a frame. Well, that's the idea. I have no idea. I'm going to use my hockey pucks again as body mounts. So if I have to go up a tad bit higher, whatever. Obviously, this isn't getting, this isn't getting channeled or anything like that. It's, it's not getting, you know, I thought about channeling it and making this whole frame go up higher and I'm just going to leave it. I want it to be traditional, which I know that's bullshit. People would say, well, traditional could be either way. People channeled their hot rods back in the day. I want it to be, I want it to look original, but with a V8 in it. I don't want it sitting on the ground. So everything went real nice and smooth in this one. See, there's no more wood except for these pieces that are going to fall out. But you know, this side's a whole other story. I've been fighting with it for the last 10 minutes, trying to get this out. I'm trying not to show you guys the boring stuff because, I mean, this is all kind of boring right now. Me tearing this out for 10 minutes in a time lapse is just a waste of a battery and it's a waste of time. So I'm just showing you bits and pieces. I'll show it to you when it's done. All right. Uh, there's one side, there's the other side, there's still a real thin strip in there, but it's not going to affect anything. Uh, that literally took a solid hour and a half, so good thing I wasn't recording myself because that would have been a huge waste of time. And, uh... Now I'm going to cut the metal for it and let's weld this stuff in. Let's get this going across there and then we'll see how I feel after that. All right, so here we are. They go up to there because there's a whatever. That's where the, that's where that goes. So I'm not going to. Try to go around that. I'll just tie it all in and it will be solid. So let's weld this in.
actually shuts pretty well. Well, <laughs> never mind, that was the wrong one. It's this one that shuts really nice. Even though it's like dark over here. But yeah, that's a nice, it's a nice line. Everything seems pretty good there. So that's kind of where we're at got these in the sides I didn't tie that in yet and I know a lot of you are gonna be like why why are you putting it over top 
blah blah blah. And I get it. Uh, first of all, I'm gonna have. There's gonna be, like, depending on how the transmission is, there's gonna be two support beams going down this way on either side of the transmission. And then there's gonna be one going down the back like that. And um, so there's gonna be, all that's gonna be flush for the floor. So the fl one floor, one half of the floor will be in the front, one half will be in the back. And the seats will bolt to that beam. And, uh, you know, and then they'll bolt to one half of the, you get it. This isn't my first rodeo, even though I still have no idea what I'm doing, but I just kind of plan it as I go. But that is not a bad first day. All right, so that's day one. Uh, whew, man, it's freezing out here. That heater works, but like when I was welding, and everything it, it was so full of gas in here like you it was so smoky that you know it was it was getting pretty bad and i was breathing through my shirt and so I, I had to open the garage door a couple times to ventilate it and uh so it's back to being freezing in here but that's all right uh, i'm not always going to be welding there's going to be other things i'm doing so i can keep it pretty warm in here and i mean last year when i was doing this to my other model a i was doing this in the carport with no heat and on gravel, which sucked really bad. So at least I'm not in that. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty grateful to have this garage and a level floor and everything right now, but there's so much more to do to this. I'm in it now, guys. This was one of many episodes. I mean, I really, uh, I have so much metal in my mouth. I really, you know, once I get started, I get obsessed and I'm leaving everything as is. I'll be out probably tomorrow and the next day and as many days as I can while I have off work, I'm gonna mess with this, get as much done as possible. I'm gonna try not to spend too much money, but it is what it is, man. I, when I wanna get something done, I wanna get it done. So, uh, thanks for watching. I know uh, I skipped a lot. I skipped around a lot because I didn't wanna waste my battery and I didn't wanna bore you guys to death because, you know, time-lapsing myself weld for like 20 minutes straight or uh, time-lapsing myself cut 20 pieces of metal is really boring and I get it like I'm not bad Chad here like I'm not gonna film like a live video as I go this is just a, a generalization of you know what I did today and I just try to make it in a way where you're not gonna lose interest within the first five minutes but talking like this generally makes people lose interest. So, you know, it's the end of the video, so <laughs> I guess it's okay. But, uh, you know, I'm gonna do another video here probably tomorrow. I'll, I'll keep putting them out every couple days or once a week, but I'm gonna try to get as much footage as I can so I can be a couple weeks ahead. And uh, I'm, I'm pretty psyched to keep going on this. I don't know if I'm doing it right. I have no idea, I'm just gonna keep going, man until it works and that's all I can do. So thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next one.